Hi everyone, it's Kayla. Long time no see. Or I'm Kayla. I have yet to get that right six years later. Can you believe that? Okay, moving on. As you can see from the title of this video, I ruined my dentures. And I'm very sad about that. So, I want to tell you what I did. Actually, I'm going to show you. Cringy, I know. I'm going to show you what I did to ruin them, how I ruined them, and how you cannot ruin yours. It's a very expensive mistake, and I really wish that I hadn't done that. So there. Yep. Um, kind of go over the next steps of what I'm doing to rectify this situation, and then, um, I don't know, just updates, life stuff, whatever we want to talk about. So first, how I ruined my dentures. Hard foods. I ruined them by eating hard foods. Now, when I say hard foods, I'm not talking about like hard to eat foods, like a steak or things like that. I'm talking about like hard, crunchy food, like really hard granola bars, uh, things like that. Over time, they're, they wear down. It's acrylic. So just naturally when you eat things that are a little bit um, harder to bite through, they can wear down. I am proof that that happens, um, although it was definitely my fault, um, how exaggerated it is and how quickly it happened. So the warning here for you guys is don't do what I did. Don't make that mistake because it's expensive to fix that. So don't do what I did. Don't make that mistake, save yourself thousands of dollars and here we go. So what did I do? I was addicted to mints, like um, like spearmint candies. Um, so, and, and it wasn't just that I would put it in my mouth and suck on it and consume 50 million grams of sugar, it's that I would chew them, like rapidly chew them. Um, and a lot of them. So I'd put it in my mouth and then I'd get distracted doing whatever. And then like, I, I don't know if I was addicted to like that crunch that you get. Um, I love the crunch. And so when I would bite down on the mints, they would break and then I would just chew them till they were gone. So over time it wore down the teeth and I will show you that in a minute. Um, but they're basically just, just down to the gum line. Although you can see they still look good from the outside. Super white. They still look good from the outside, but they are ruined essentially. But they are essentially ruined. So I have to go get myself a new set. And I'm very sad about that. I love these. I was heavily involved in the process of them. As if you've seen any of my old videos, you know that my dentist was just incredible. He let me be so hands-on within the process. And I doubt that I would get that again from anyone else, but I am on the hunt for a good dentist that may allow me to be involved in this process. Um, so we'll see where we get with that. I'm currently researching dentists because I did just move to Florida back in July and um, I don't know any dentists. I am not in Kansas anymore. Yeah, I never was in Kansas, but I'm not there. I'm in Florida. And if you know any dentists that are in either Orange County or Polk County, even Brevard County, really anywhere in Central Florida that has decent rates, I'd be willing to drive there. So if you have any recommendations, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Now for the cringy part, I'm going to show you what they look like, um, essentially being, being ruined. Okay. Sorry to anybody this grosses out. They are clean. I did clean them before I put them in my mouth to make this video to try and alleviate some of that pain, but, um, yeah. Okay. Here goes. I'm going to show you the bottom first because that's where the most damage is and then I'll show you the tops. Okay. If you notice right here, you'll see 
that it is broken. And then you can also see the pink coming through on the teeth. And it's kind of like lifted up here. This part wasn't affected as badly. But over on this side, it is essentially gone. Like it is right down at the gum line. So there's that. So as I've been chewing on the mints, it's been breaking little by little by little. And um, they're basically gone. Same with these. You can see they're right down at the gum line. Now, to talk about the face changing. The face changing part is the part that I would think for most women, men too, I'm not, not excluding you, but the part that bothers me the most, right? So I'm gonna show you. This is six years after having all of my teeth pulled and then growing up, obviously. You can see right here how much has gone in. So you can see how much the, like, without the support, like this part of here, the, the lip does sit down and then um, it does, you know, when you put the teeth in, you do look a little bit better, but my jaw used to be like pretty defined, like pretty defined. And you can see it's going further up in here because this bone is getting thinner and thinner with time. So if I could go back and I had unlimited amounts of money, I would have gotten implants, but I played the cards that I was dealt and I went with removable dentures because that is what I could afford at the time. So if you have the option and you're vain like me, not so much vain, but I definitely care about my appearance. Um, so if you have the money, you may want to seriously consider one or two implants on each, whatever you can afford. If you can't afford it, don't let something like that stop you from getting the teeth in the first place because I would go back and do this a thousand times over knowing if I knew then what I know now I would still do it I wouldn't make as many mistakes but I would I would still do it over and over and over again groundhog's day for teeth if you will but be careful about the decisions you make whether if you're like getting ready for e-day or if you're like pretty pretty soon after you got the initial ones and you have the ability to step up into the implants you may want to consider it to try and save some of this bone now with that said i love my teeth i would not change anything i think that they have changed my life they have given me the confidence to be into public and to not worry about what people think about me to not think that i was a drug addict. I have never done drugs. I don't want people assuming the worst kinds of things about me, that I was a drug addict or an alcoholic or any of the things that would naturally just rot your teeth. I just, I didn't want those perceptions. So yes, I would go back and I would do it a million times over without hesitation. So I am very lucky that I had the ability to get them. And if you were in the same place, I would say just do it. But if you do have the ability and you're kind of teetering on the edge of should I get implants or should I get dentures? I would say at least get two implants on each arch just to save the bone and the face shape because it will change with time. Now I am 37, obviously. So it, it, that's just, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm getting older, my, my wrinkles, cause I make this face a lot. These are so defined but what can you do? Nothing. So I'm going on this journey. I am looking for a new dentist. 
hopefully somebody that I can be hands on with in this process. I want to take you guys along with me so that you can see kind of what happens in the progression of this. Um, they don't last forever. You are going to have to get a new pair at some point. So this is what the process would look like. Um, I do not have a date of when I'm going to do it. I'm hoping to kind of get into like the next couple of months and nail down who I want to go see um, and where I want to get it done. Like preferably Central Florida because it's where I live. But um, yeah. Now on to other news. I am still in the process of making videos about like doing Disney with dentures or Universal or SeaWorld, whatever. I go to all of them. But um, I know it's like one of the most famous places here in Florida and if you are going there on vacation and you want to know what you can eat or what you can't eat, I'm going to make some shorts, like those little quick videos of um, eating certain things. Certain things inside of Disney are super hard to eat. Even six years out, even as qualified as I would say I am at the um, eating with centers, they they can be very difficult. So we're going to go through that process and I am starting a new channel because I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling again now that this crazy pandemic has essentially eased up. I wouldn't say it's over because it's still getting people but um, as it has eased up we are open to traveling to other places so I've got a cruise booked and um, I go to Disney every week with my son. And so there's, if there's any questions or anything that you guys want to see specifically, I am going to do another travel, or another channel kind of dedicated just to traveling as not as much denture like stuff. So I'm going to keep my denture stuff here, but if you're interested in that, I will put the channel name in the comments. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, any suggestions, any, any help at all would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah. This is not a fun process and I'm really sad that I even have to go through it. So shame on me for doing that in the first place. But we live and learn. Now we just have to fix what had happened. And um, I hope you guys are willing to come with me on this journey. So I don't really have much else to say. If I did, I forgot it. And uh, see you next time. It's not great.